And Sylvia, all of this back and forth we've seen this week, the sell-offs, the run-ups again, what do you really make of it? Yeah, good morning, Becky. Thanks for having me. I think that there's some volatility in the 10-year because of the stimulus coming out and the check being signed and sort of the fears of inflation um, overheating. I do think, though, that some of that will be muted. You know, I, I think the Fed can essentially rein it in. Foreign governments can purchase bonds and kind of mitigate some of this. But I, I do look at this and look at tech and think, what a great opportunity to buy on the dip. You know, in 2015, from 2015 to 2018, around the time that we had a new election in 16 and tax cuts, the 10-year actually rose about 50 percent, but the FANG names also rose well above 50 percent. So that tells me that those opportunities might be there. If the 10-year is up 50 bips from, from a recent low and Apple is down 18 percent, I want to buy Apple. You want to buy Apple. Okay. But what about something like Tesla? Those are the ones that we've seen more, move more. Netflix, some of the big movers. Yeah, so that's a fair point. I would stick to some of the quality names there that have, you know, a future, have strong balance sheets and, and great cash positions. So um, the pure fang names. I do like Tesla. I think Tesla's on the forefront of innovation and disruption. And that's essentially the fourth industrial revolution where the puck's going to go. Um, I think that Tesla will be extremely volatile because it's a high beta stock and it is reacting like a high tech stock during this time when the 10 year rises. But I think that the outlook for Tesla remains really positive. And for investors looking to get into tech, you know, it's time to sort of diversify your tech too. think about what tech will look like in the next 10 years. And I think that a lot of that comes with ideas like 5G, machine learning, quantum computing, and even hydrogen and looking at that space. What, what names does that bring you to? I take it not Apple and not names like that. Where, what, where would you be looking if you're looking for the growth over the next 10 years? Sure. So if I take hydrogen, for example, you know, that's a $150 billion plus investment now. Bank of America recently came out in a note saying that by 2050, it'll be $11 trillion. Um, so names hmm. like Plug Power that basically help to power forklifts and, and are used by companies like NASA, Amazon, Boeing, just to name a few, to become carbon neutral. You know, the Biden presidency is really big on carbon neutrality, as is the EU, China. Saudis recently came out with a $700 million R&D effort there. So a lot of those hydrogen-related names, I think, are going to pop in the next 50 years as, you know, perhaps 25 percent of our energy consumption comes from um, hydrogen. And in the same vein, I, I like the future of communication and 5G. I like machine learning, quantum computing, um, cybersecurity, the semiconductor names that will power some of these themes. I, I really think that the way we look at technology now is going to change. And looking at the disruptors and the innovators is a really good place to be. And look, they're getting crushed now, too. I mean, a lot of these names have been down 30, 40 percent in the last month. So um, good buy on the dip opportunities there, too. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.